This is a major news story. Should we be concerned? The Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 gas pipelines carrying natural gas from Russia to Germany were both blown up. Let's talk about number one. What are these pipelines? Let's educate ourselves a little bit. Number two, let's talk about the details regarding what happened, and most importantly, let's talk about who may have done this and why. At the end of the day, we know one thing. This is a big, big geopolitical story, and geopolitics and geopolitical strife do affect the price of silver, of gold. We need to talk about it right now. First, let's talk about these pipelines. Nord Stream 1 runs from Western Russia to Germany. It had supplied Germany and much of Europe with most of their natural gas over the recent years. We know there's a major energy crisis already in Europe. Nord Stream 2 was a new pipeline that was set to open. However, it was shut down upon the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. They never opened the pipeline, but it was also to supply massive amounts of natural gas to Germany and Europe. Now, Nord Stream 1 is owned 51% by the Russians. Nord Stream 2 is owned 100% by the Russians. Sales of natural gas by Russia to Europe were a major source of revenue for the Russian economy. So this is quite a blow to Russia. And it's interesting to note the name Nord Stream. Where does that come from? Well, Nord stands for North in German. So it's really the North Stream pipeline. Nonetheless, this is a big story on a geopolitical level. Next, let's talk about what happened. There were three explosions in total. Two occurred on Nord Stream 1. Now, that was the most recently operational pipeline. One explosion on Nord Stream 2. And again, that was the pipeline that was about to come online just before the invasion of Ukraine. These were massive explosions. Seismologists in Sweden saw these on the Richter scale, which measured almost 2.5. Three. Massive amounts of natural gas are leaking out of the pipelines, leaving a like bubble zone in the water almost one kilometer in diameter. For those of you who don't work on the metric system, that's like 10 football fields in diameter. Not too different than when I eat a full can of Chili Man Chili. We aren't pipeline experts, but it's pretty obvious that these pipelines will not be transporting any gas anytime soon. Sometimes it feels like the world's going a little crazy, but know one thing for sure. You're always safe here in Ron's basement and you're always welcome. If you enjoy my content, you can subscribe right here. Give the video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Give us your opinion. We are interested. Now let's get back to the video. Let's talk about who may have done this and why. The Danish Prime Minister, Met Fredriksen, said these were deliberate acts. Not accidental and pretty obvious this was an act of sabotage. It appears the three main suspects in this case would be Ukraine, possibly Russia did it, or maybe even the West led by the United States of America. And who knows, because in times of war, everything gets very foggy. When I think about Russia doing it, I have to ask, why would they blow up a pipeline that number one, was a major cash cow for them, and number two, that they basically own. Why would they sabotage themselves? But I won't rule anything out of the question. The current prime minister of Poland did speculate that Russia was responsible and that they did this to escalate the war in Europe. However, very interestingly, the former defense minister of Poland actually took to Twitter after this act of sabotage and thanked the United States for the attack on the pipeline. Now, he was quickly chastised for this. However, 
we do have to recognize that before the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, both President Biden and Victoria Luland warned that if Russia were to go into Ukraine, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline would be basically shut down by any means necessary. And it might make sense that Ukraine had a major hand in this attack. They are at war with Russia, and it would behoove them to have Europe even more angry with Russia at this point so that Ukraine gets more support from Europe in their war with Russia. A couple things we know for sure. Number one, this probably has Vladimir Putin even more angry at the West now than he was prior to the attack. We know that the people of Europe will continue to suffer with significantly decreased natural gas supplies, and we know that this ratchets up the level of geopolitical strife in the world right now, which in the end will be good for the price of silver and gold. We'll see how this plays out. We are in some choppy waters. I'll be here for you through it all, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.